Good morning, ESM. I hope you're having an amazing Monday so far. Today is Monday, October 5th. Today's show will be talking all about apples, from the new Cosmic Crisp Apple to an Apple iPhone lawsuit. But first, on to your news with Abby. Aaron D. Wood, known as the owner of Trappers 2, has passed away Friday, October 2nd, after his long fight with cancer. He was a successful businessman who not only took care of his family in Trappers 2, but was one of the largest contributors to our school's fundraising. He had always donated for pizza parties and other activities. The funeral mass will be private and calling hours will be from 4 to 8 p.m. this Wednesday at the R. H. Shepin Sun Manila Chapel. President Donald Trump and First Lady Melania have tested positive for coronavirus. Trump is currently recovering at Walter Reed Hospital. The White House has said that his symptoms are mild and that he is likely to make a full recovery. People close to the White House such as Kellyanne Conway, Christy Chris, Senator Tom Tillis, Senator Mike Lee, Senator Ron Johnson, Republican National Committee Chairwoman Ronna McDaniel, and his campaign manager Bill Steven have also tested positive. Joe Biden, Trump's political opponent, has tweeted that he has tested negative. Barron Trump, Donald, and Melania's son have also tested negative. The reason the virus is spreading is because the, of the numerous politicians not following the CDC guidelines and an event in the Rose Garden in which the president announced his pick for Supreme Court Justice Amy Connie Barrett. Locally, there have also been an uptick in the number of COVID cases with 125 new cases announced over the last seven days. Also, SUNY Cortland is approaching mandatory shutdown as the total number of cases rise to 58 within two-week time periods as of two days ago. Please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. DECA will be holding a virtual membership meeting on Wednesday, October 7th at 3.30. This meeting is for anyone interested in joining or learning more about DECA. For more information, visit the DECA Google Classroom at DKMHHR6. If you have any questions or cannot attend the meeting, please see Mr. Anzalone or Mr. Mussolino in B4. There will be a hey, your video's not on. Oh, there you are. Hi, how are you? Hey guys, how's it going? It's great to see you again. I hope you've been well. Hey, how are you? I'm doing good. Good, good. Long what time are you time. looking forward to this year? I'm really excited to take this year to the next level. Collegiate DECA allows students of every major and minor to take what they're learning in the classroom and transform it into a real world experience. It shows that everything you're doing in the classroom truly does have value. DECA prepares emerging leaders and entrepreneurs in marketing, finance, hospitality, and management. Collegiate DECA is an international student organization with nearly 6,000 members from over 300 campuses across all 50 states, Canada, Guam, and Puerto Rico. DECA is a place where people can come together and really support each other. 3.15 to 4.15 every Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday in the small cafe for the remainder of the fall season. Fall sports athletes, this should help alleviate the pressure to get a ride back to school. Sports study hall will begin Tuesday, October 6th. Do you have an iPhone 6 or 7? You could earn some money. There is currently a $500 million class action lawsuit related to the accusations that the company Apple is intentionally slowing down these devices to prompt their users to buy new phones. The deadline for you to make a claim is tomorrow, October 6th. iPhone 6, 6S, 6S Plus, SE, 7, and 7 Plus are covered. If you file a claim, you may earn up to $25. Go to www.smartphoneperformancesettlement.com to file a claim. And now on to your weather with Grayson. As you can see here, we won't have that many showers hitting overhead, but today we will have showers though, but not too many, throughout the day with a high of 62 and a low of 43. 
Tuesday and Wednesday will be pretty similar to Monday with highs in the 60s and lows in the 50s and 40s. Thursday will be our coldest day of the week and Friday, Saturday, and Sunday will start to warm up the week. You probably haven't heard of cosmic, cosmic crisp apples, but they are a fairly new breed of apples that were created last winter. These apples are a cross between Enterprise and Honeycrisp. They will be available again in stores for December this year. These apples are large, round, and juicy. The apples are a rich red and they sparkle. This is what gives it its name, Cosmic. These apples have a natural mix of acidity and sweetness, making for a delicious apple, and right in time for the holiday season. Now on to sports with John. In upcoming sports, girls varsity tennis and girls varsity field hockey both play today against Cortland. Tennis is at home and field hockey is away. The boys golf team also plays at JD. Boys and girls varsity soccer both played at home against CNS Saturday in a scrimmage. Also both the boys and girls cross country team beat Central Square Saturday at home. The girls won 21 to 34. Led by senior Mary Roach. ESM's girl scorers were Mary Roach, Elena Vespi, Rachel Ladd, Ainsley McKenna and Taylor Hoffman. The boys were led by winner Spencer Carnival. Boy scorers were Spencer, John Corsi, Logan Michaels, Aiden O'Brien, and Joe Pedro Garcia. Duke is still looking for their first win this football season, and Syracuse will play Duke on Saturday at 12.30. Unfortunately for all Orange fans, odds makers think that Duke might get their first win. In NBA news, Miami won Game 3 of the Finals against the Lakers 115-104. to LA is currently leading the series two games to one. The Heat were led by Jimmy Butler with a 40-point triple-double. In right. NFL news, the Buffalo Bills remain undefeated after beating the Las Vegas Raiders 30-23. QB Josh Allen threw for 288 yards and two touchdowns. The American Divisional Series starts tonight as the New York Yankees take on the Tampa Bay Rays at 8 for the first game out of a best-of-five series. And I'm John, for your sports. Well, that's all the time we have for you today. Thanks for tuning in. And from Allie, myself, and everyone here at Spartan News, have a great day.